All right guys, so someone was asking me how basically electrical works for underground, how it all gets set up and stuff like that. As you can see, there's a lot of pipes here, but basically this is where the power is coming into the building right here. Um, as you can see out here, there's a bunch of different forms and slabs, foundation and forms and all that good stuff. Um, so, um, so right here is where all the power comes in. Um, the power is coming in wherever from these outside pipes right here. Uh, whatever direction they're coming in from, I'm not sure. There's a bee on my shoulder, so I might get shaky here in a second. But um, power comes in here, um, and then it gets sent, I believe. I'm not sure, but this part gets tricky since I'm not too familiar with the layout. Um, power comes in there, and then it goes up into the breaker. And then from the breaker, it gets sent back over to the inside of the building. There's going to be like a wall here. Um, right here. So this is the inside of the building. This is the outside of the building. There's going to be switch gear right here with the big open door um, This is the inside of the building. So the power gets sent in the building and then from all these pipes right here these pipes um, Go to the inside of the building so um, These go to different sections of the building like Say some go over there three of them over there three of them over there. There's some that go in this corner Basically, there's pipes in every single square box foundation. Um, as far as which one brings power to the panels or where the panels are at, I'm not sure, but... Um, so the power gets sent into here and through the big pipes, and then it gets sent out through the smaller pipes, bringing power to, let's just say there's a panel on each one of these square boxes. So the power gets sent in, and then the power gets sent out um, over to there to power up. Uh, different panels and breakers and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea um, Hopefully I didn't butcher that but basically power comes in. It's basically in and out like with every system uh, Power comes in power comes out So it comes in this is the big spot right here. I don't know what if whatever Let's just say it's a thousand amps or whatever and then it gets sent down to say 200 amp breakers and then from there it gets sent down to whatever 100 amp breakers or whatever the panels are at but basically it just gets sent downstream just like on a power line or something like that where it comes in super high power and then it goes down to your house to 200 amps or whatnot so so hopefully that makes sense just power in power out and stuff like that so yeah so this is just sending power to all the different spots in the building because this is going to be a underground slab so um Basically, they have to be exactly where they're at in the concrete. Otherwise, they have to get chipped up and stuff like that and get put in the right spot. But so most of this building, I think, is underground. So that's why there's a lot. There's a spot there, spot here, and then there's spot right there where there's a couple and another one on the right side. But so yeah. So let's just say power comes here and then power gets sent out to let's say one big power spot could send out to there and then over to there so it just basically just power in and then power out to the other parts of the building so uh, hopefully that makes sense uh, and then did butcher it too much but I think I'm repeating myself way too much but yeah so all these pipes will go to different spots in the building and then one section or a few spots should power it up and then same over there there will be a big power in and then all those little pipes go out to other sections of the building so i'm gonna stop repeating myself hopefully that makes sense to you guys but basically you just have to know uh where everything is at off of the building so just you have to go with either a laser or strings and stuff like that um i think they took most of the strings down but like there's a little pink little string right there so they'll either set strings up and you measure off the strings or you use a, the easy way to do it is with a laser, um, just depending on uh, what kind of system you have going on. But uh, yeah, like if you're doing like a, if you're doing like a like a parking garage, and they have the wood forms out, and then they're gonna pour concrete on top, you can just roll your laser around, and then say if you have it all mapped out on the computer, you just have a lot. Uh, a dot shot down on the ground and you say okay my pipe's gonna be right here you make a mark or whatever so um but i don't
don't, I'm not sure how they did it. I've only been out here a few days, but I'm not sure exactly how they did on this job site, but basically they have their stuff already formed out, so basically you have a general idea of where your stuff's gonna go out and stuff like that, so. You'll have your, we have stubbed all our pipes inside the forms and stuff like that, so. Um, they're gonna figure that all out tomorrow, but I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So anyways, hopefully that gives you an idea. Hopefully that makes sense, but if not, let me know down in the comments below. So one example is like in a house, you have the panel in the garage or wherever it may be, have the panel in the garage. The power gets sent in from outside, either from overhead or underground. And then, so all your power is at the panel and then it gets sent into the house through wires like one to the stove, two to the kitchen, one to the bathroom, to the bedrooms, to the lights, all that good stuff. So basically you have your power section and then it gets sent in to where it's going. But in a big scale building like this, the underground, uh, all the power comes in outside. And then it, instead of going through wires to certain spots, we have pipes that go to the certain spots and then the wire will be pulled afterwards. Um, so that's kind of how I'm trying to explain it to you guys power outside and then it gets sent down to where it's supposed to go through pipes and we will pull the wire later so hopefully that makes more sense to you guys um anyways thanks for watching i appreciate it god bless have an awesome rest of your day if you enjoyed the video uh i'd appreciate it if you drop it a like and subscribe i will see you guys tomorrow peace out and don't forget to hit the notification bell um to be notified when i do live streams and when i upload new videos if that's something you're interested in i know like it says 10 percent of you guys are like on the notification squad so um if that's something you're interested uh definitely look into that i'd appreciate it and um i'm gonna be doing a live stream here in a few minutes if you guys want to come stop by so uh yep thanks guys see you later